Andrew Milgate talks about minimising fungicide resistance in Septoria triticae. I'm Andrew Milgate, I'm from New South Wales DPI. In particular in the high rainfall zones around Australia, uh, in, in South, East, South Australia, in the high rainfall zones in the southwest of Victoria and in Tasmania, there is currently a high level of the pathogen present in crops uh, and it is causing an issue in terms of not only robbing yield, but it's developing this resistance to our common fungicides that we use. For growers and agronomists, it means we need to be much more careful about our selection of, of fungicides in the system. We can't just expect that we go out and we f apply fungicides and we're not going to have any impact at all on pathogens. Now, in this case, we're talking about septoria, but we could equally be talking about net form of net blotch in barley or scald in barley. All of these pathogens have the capacity to develop resistance. But what we've detected it in is, is in septoria. So in order to be able to keep these fungicides in the system and usable for everybody, we need to understand how much they've changed. We want to be able to monitor into the future whether they gain greater levels of resistance to the fungicides. And we want to be able to advise growers about better varieties that have host resistance to this pathogen and improve their ability to control the disease not using fungicides alone. And so that's another message that we want growers and agronomists to take home is that fungicides aren't the only mechanism to bring about control of this disease, that we use cultural practices as well as genetic factors from the host and then we supplement that with the use of fungicides where necessary. And, that, and those are the, the, the three pillars that we can hopefully sustain the use of the, our key tools, being fungicide, to be able to control other pathogens in the system, not only just septoria as well. So there's a simple message that we need to convey to, to growers and agronomists with a pathogen like this is that once the population builds up to the level that it has in the high rainfall zones is that the more fungicides we apply, the greater the risk of higher levels of resistance that we, we will result in, in selecting. So the current advice based on the best information that we have from overseas and our own research, which has only been going on for 12 months in Australia, is that if we can minimise the number of fungicide applications in any one crop and we use different modes of action where possible and that we don't use the same active ingredient more than once within an actual crop. And by that way we hope to achieve a level of sustainability. Now unfortunately there's no guarantees in this system but this is based on the, the best information that we have at hand at the moment.